Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back. So, everybody seems to really enjoy the uh, cooking that I've that I've done. Maybe I shouldn't say everybody, but I have a core group of guys who really enjoy watching the barbecue and stuff. Even though I'm just, uh, I consider myself an amateur barbecuer. I do it for fun, something fun to do on Sundays. Today, Sunday. So. I'm going to do some smoked chicken today and I decide I'm going to go ahead and get the camera fired up here and I'll, I'll show you guys what I'm doing. I'm at my house. I apologize uh, for the ugly backdrop with the city highway out there. I hope in the future as, uh, as I'm doing this expansion around here and this work that I get to slowly improve things and I eventually want a nice privacy fence there to kind of hide the look of the cars and the highway there. So. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and start getting in the grill set up now now at home here. I use This is a char griller and I have the optional smoke box mounted on the side of it right there And we're gonna use charcoal and some pecan wood down in there a little bit of pecan wood just to kind of give a little bit of the smoke flavor And it's been a little while since I've used this grill uh, sadly. It's been several months so I'm gonna get it set up and get it hot and get the grates kind of burned off and then I'm going to uh, move these out of the way. I've got this modified where I've got a heat deflector that I put on this side of the grill to uh, kind of deflect the heat from coming up here to come more over on this side where most of the, uh, the meat is. I also got a water pan that I put in here on top of that heat deflector to help create the moisture in there as well. So again, we're going to we're going to do smoked chicken today and smoked chicken is really you know, it's an easy recipe uh, for any anybody at home. You know, it's an everyday barbecue. A lot of people get chicken. It's a really cheap cut of meat. I, I like to go to the store and buy that bag of chicken quarters, and it usually costs somewhere around eight bucks or so. And you know, that's a lot of it's a lot of food, and it's and it's not that expensive. So right now I got it marinated, which I'll show you. Um, and we're just going to do a simple smoked barbecue. I'll do some seasoning on it later. And, and probably uh, rub it down with some sauce too. So we'll go ahead and get started and I'll kind of show you what I do along the way, okay? So I'm gonna start off with about that much charcoal and I'll have to add some throughout our cook as the temperatures drop and and this is a inexpensive grill right here. I think I paid 120 bucks for it, uh, plus for extra for the side box there. So it gets the job done. You just got to play around with it and get used to it. But we'll make it work. It, it always gets the job done. So we're going to go ahead and light it off. I'm not going to use any lighter fluid. I'm just going to use this burns o -matic torch here to get it started. We'll get one spot going right here and let it kind of work its way over. All right, that'll light off and start spreading here shortly and catch them all on fire. So I've got the smoker leveled off around the 250 to 275 degrees and I went ahead and added my I got my heat deflector in there and we've got a water pan in there. Alright, there's a little shot at the coals. So we're gonna go ahead and close that up. I'm gonna go grab the chicken, get it ready, and we'll put it on. So this is a whole bag of those chicken quarters, so and a really easy marinade to do. And what I did here, this is uh, about a half a container of Italian dressing. Italian dressing is a really good marinade for meats. It's got everything that you need already in it, the oils and the, the herbs and everything. So it's been marinating for, I don't know, about two hours probably because I got it this morning. And we're going to use, this is just my choice for today. This is really good. The grill mate's Montreal chicken, just got a good flavor to it. And we're going to shake it with that. So I got my surgical gloves on. And I've got my little pan over here that we're going to use. And 
pull some of these out and get them seasoned. Now, <clears throat> some of you might be asking, why am I cooking this much chicken? Uh, I'm here by myself today, by the way, it's just me. So I just cook everything I can at once. And then this is leftover. So, you know, I'll have this today for dinner. I'll have it tomorrow for dinner. Might even have some for lunch. I'm gonna start with the bottom here. good seasoning right there so I'm gonna do that with all of them and then we'll throw them on the grill all right go ahead and start layering these things on here I've got uh, canola oil sprayed all over the grates I've wire brushed them and all that discoloration will will even out after a cook Okay, the ones on the bottom, I'm going to even out the seasoning on those a little bit just to make them look uniform. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and close her up and just monitor my heat and have to adjust the vents, try to Try to keep it uh, uniform around 250 degrees if I can. All right, we're going to go ahead and add a couple pieces of wood. Not going to use a whole lot here. Add a couple more chunks, just like that. All right, that's going to be our smoke. We might add a couple more pieces throughout the cook. Everything's looking good, so we're probably about an hour and a half into the cook. I hadn't really been keeping up. I've been inside working, but our temps is looking pretty good. We're about 250, 260 up there, 250 on this one. This one is right around 195 to 200. We'll take a quick peek and let it back down. Yeah, they're looking good, man. Looking good. It's going to be some good eating chicken later. All right, we'll bring you back later. So we've been cooking for a few hours now. I'm gonna go ahead and check the temp because I think we should be getting close. And my coals are starting to die down over here. We still got plenty of heat left in there, but it's uh, dropping in, in temp. So I got my digital thermometer right here. And what we're looking for is uh, about 165 internal temp. Okay, it looks like we're getting there. Looks like we're right at the, the doneness cook level. Real close, real close. So, all right, and these over here are probably going to be a little bit more hot. Yep. These are already well cooked right here. So, they're pretty much done. We're going to let them uh, cook for just a little longer since it's right at the, the cook temp that they need to be. I'm going to go get some barbecue sauce and I'm going to slide these things up with some sauce. All right, so the sauce I'm going to use is called Dave's Barbecue Sauce, original spicy recipe from Santa Fe, New Mexico. This was given to me by a viewer watches the A-Bomb 79 channel. So pretty good stuff. I haven't used it for barbecue yet. I've just used it as a dipper. We're gonna go ahead and use it for today's barbecue. I'm a barbecue sauce kind of person. I know that uh, some people prefer not to have sauce on their barbecue. Just you know, you make it any way you want to. Whatever you like is what you do. And this is what I like. I like sauce, and I even like dipping it in more sauce. 
but let's go ahead and slide these down real good and we'll uh, close it up we'll probably let them since the temps getting pretty low we'll let it go for probably about another half hour I'm just gonna do the tops I'm not gonna worry about rolling them and doing the bottom side just gonna do the top adds a little bit of flavor whenever you bite into this stuff I'll probably come out here in another 15 20 and, uh, and uh, baste them one more time with a little bit more sauce I'm gonna go ahead and move these two over to the more colder side just because they're already cooked to temp I'm just gonna move them right over there all right how's that looking looks good all right that's two coats of barbecue sauce and we're at 165 temp so we're gonna go ahead and pull those things off I did try the I had that one small quarter without the leg on it I pulled that off just to make sure that it was good and it was great so we're good to go I gotta say they are good all right let's pull these things off and get them in the pan we'll let them rest for a little bit and then we'll peel one open and let you take a look at it it's a real good easy recipe that anybody with a smoker can do like I said before too it's a cheap cut of meat so you can go to Walmart or wherever you go shop and pick up a bag of these quarters and have some good barbecue for the weekend My favorite old pan I like to use, this was my granddad's. It's got the lid. Even got a little vent right there. Let's give one of these things a, a test. Got that one right there. Oh. Grab the skin off the other one. Okay. There it is, man. Very, very good. That barbecue sauce has got a nice little spice to it. Very good. Well, this chicken turned out pretty good. We're going to take it inside. I'm going to slot in the oven. I'm going to save it for dinner. This piece right here was just kind of like my afternoon snack there. But uh, I enjoyed making the video and sharing it with you. And I hope you guys enjoyed it too. If you have any suggestions, let me know. I just kind of do this stuff on a whim. You know, I, I wanted to barbecue this weekend and decided, hey, go ahead and grab the camera and share it since a bunch of you guys want to see it, you know, on the channel. So real easy recipe, you know, you don't have to smoke it. You can just grill it if you want to. I have a lot better luck using the charcoal grill uh, versus say like a gas grill <clears throat> and a uh, lot, lot better flavor to me too. But this chicken turned out good. It's got a real good smoky uh, taste to it. That's not overwhelming. I didn't use a lot of pecan in there. I just used a few, like a handful of chunks throughout the whole cook. It turned out real good. The uh, barbecue sauce is real good, you know, that spiciness. I, I like that kind of stuff there. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed, and we'll see you on the next cook, okay?